Lake County is a Northern California rural community. We're 65,000 people and a majority are living in poverty. And my hope for our community is a place where intergenerational poverty is alleviated, where there's healthy food for the hungry and sustainable housing for the homeless. Hope Center is a collaboration of every agency in Lake County that has to do with health and wellness. It is Adventist Health Clear Lake, it's Sutter Lakeside, it's Lake County Public Health, it is um, Lake County Behavioral Health Services. I will miss some if I try to name them all, but all of the players are at the table. And all of those players looked at our CHNA, the Community Health Needs Assessment, and said, what is, this, what is a thing that we can do to raise our health and wellness in Lake County? And housing is the thing. I think the healthcare industry uh, is seeing that you have to go upstream from the acute and chronic illness into what causes that. Uh, and one of the things is, and we see this movement, of course, across the nation, uh, is housing first. Uh, you can't address, or you have a great deal of difficulty to address chronic uh, health issues, uh, substance use, uh, and mental health issues if a person doesn't have a place to live. Hope Center is about helping people help themselves. And when they get to that place of desperation that they realize they cannot do it on their own and something must change, we are present. We offer services. We have housing navigation and case management and we will help people replace their ID if they've lost it and we can help pay for rent for our participants that are experiencing homelessness and we provide healthy, nutritious food. Um, you know, there are many things that we do, but the truth is that I can't want it more than a participant does. There is nothing that I can say or do that will bring somebody out of homelessness if they aren't the ones that are driving that work. So what do we do? We provide hope. It's so rewarding to watch them come in so vulnerable and really with no hope. You know, I see them from intake process. I, I meet them, you know, on day one, just asking to come into Hope Center and, you know, and they just have maybe a little bit of hope. Can I do this? You know, can I, can I do this program? And seeing them all the way through, it's a five to nine month program, watching them get jobs, watching them. Um, make connections with family again, getting back in children's, their children's lives, um, watching the light come in through their eyes, um, watching them ex experience the empowerment that I've experienced. It's so rewarding. I couldn't ask for a better job or career. This place, um, when I first came here, they helped me get my social security card. They helped me get a job. They helped me do like get a, not only one job but two different jobs and they've still helped encourage me to you know be more successful. I was hired by Baron Construction. I've been with them for six weeks now working hard doing what I can. I told them to my boss I want to kind of be a jack of all trades but if they could put me mainly as the floor guy. I want to be a flooring dude. The biggest challenges that we face at Hope Center are sustainability and burnout. And that might not be what most people would say. I don't think we're ever going to be at a place where we don't need grants and, and grants are not sustainable. So there's a constant worry. Um, the other concern truly is burnout because this is difficult work that we do. And it's, it's difficult heart work and it's difficult head work and it's difficult on the ground work. What's been great about Hope Center is, yes, we are helping people. Um, there's 20 beds. But believe it or not, that's not the change. The change is how the community sees the problem. And Hope Center is the beginning of that change. So I'm excited to see how the leaders and the community members embrace new concepts and new methods around homelessness.